I'm Jose Luis Crespo, parishioner of St. Catherine Labore in San Diego, California. And I'm blessed to welcome you to I, God, today's reflection of September 18th, week 24 in Ordinary Time. Today we continue in our task to, in the words of the USCCB, in this portion of Ordinary Time after Easter, consider the fullness of Jesus' teachings and works among his people. We do that, of course, by reflecting on the readings of today that our Holy Mother, the Church, in all her wisdom has laid out for us. The last time I spoke to you on February the 22nd of Ordinary Time, Jesus taught us in no uncertain terms that he is our God. Today, he speaks to our skepticism. In the gospel, Jesus speaks to the crowds and asks, to what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. Many of us, like the people in Jesus' time, lack commitment. They were like children who were amused by and liked to listen to John the Baptist and even to Jesus, but they always had excuses about why they could not commit. John the Baptist is possessed by a demon. Jesus is a glutton and a drunkard. In our day, many of us are very similar but have different excuses. The Mass is boring. I don't get it. Besides, I can talk to God directly at any time and at any place, right? We lack commitment and the wisdom to discern that instead of listening to the words of the Lord, as in today's Alleluia, we are reminded, Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. We allow our minds to be infected by the cynicism and skepticism of the world we live in. The second reading reminds us that the God we follow, whom some of us choose to be skeptical about, was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed by the Gentiles, believed throughout the world, taken up in glory. Jesus reminds us in today's readings about how and why we came to believe in him and avoid the skepticism and doubt. Let us also be reminded of the words he spoke to Thomas. Put your finger here and see my hands. Bring your hand and put it into my side and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered, said to him, My Lord and my God. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for our Christian faith. Bring us the Holy Spirit to enkindle the fire of your love in us so that we may shun skepticism and continue in our belief in you. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for partnering with WordNet. Now, we have an easy and fun way of making your donations to WordNet. Use the number that is on the screen to text your amount and follow the on-screen instructions. Thank you very much and be blessed always.